Ladies and gentlemen, do you remember in April 29th, 2020, I was like, hey, y'all, this is an event. Well, breaking news, a world record 477 mile long lightning mega flash was confirmed over the Gulf Coast on April 29th, 2020. Mega flashes result from horizontally expansive electric fields that allow flashes to propagate sometimes for 10 seconds or more. And of course, I was in that mega flash and my magnetic field was disrupting the front. And not only that, I did a 20 minute live broadcast during that storm. The tiger has destroyed his cage. Yes, yes, the tiger is out. Happy New Year, the water tiger, or as I like to call it, the blue-eyed white tiger. But to each their own. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I do not know if you heard, but there is a storm headed our way. That's right. On Wednesday, it'll really start to get going. It'll cause a lot of problems for a lot of people, a lot of heavy snow. A lot of extreme impact events, a lot of ice, a lot of heavy rain, and then it'll move out on Saturday. Now, I've been doing comprehensive coverage on this coming event. Nobody knows the exact amount of rain you're going to get. Nobody knows the exact amount of ice you're going to get. Nobody knows the exact amount of snow you're going to get. Nobody knows the exact amount of sleet you're going to get. But we do think it is going to be a very impactful storm that kicks up Wednesday night. Thursday, we'll be like, oh my gosh, Texas, we should just shut the fudge down. Um, and everybody just enjoy your snow day. Although it is going to be rain for a lot of the South Texas. I don't think te Houston's going to freeze. And then, you you know, up here, you're going to have some mega snow bands through Illinois, Ohio, Indiana. And so, and then you're going to get a lot of rainy rain and flooding down here. And so it is going to be a wild and wacky week, my friends. And then some parts... We're going to get cold after it rained, and so shit is going to freeze. And so it's going to be kind of a problematic week. And then you got some high wind warning watches storms over here. No rain for you. Winter storm warnings now extend from Texas to Michigan with winter storm watches all the way through Maine ahead of the significant winter storm forecast. To impact much of the central U.S. beginning tonight, heavy snow, sleep, freezing rain will all accompany the system. And on Thursday and Friday, this system will be loaded with moisture, so says E-Weather. So yeah, it's going to be a fire hose of moisture and a precipital water anomaly. So we're looking for this thing to have some pretty heavy impacts as it taps the Gulf moisture. Hey, YouTube had f more fourth quarter revenue, $8.6 billion, than the entire Netflix fourth quarter revenue. Uh, okay. Um... Yeah, okay. Maybe this will be the month I get on Shadow Band. Who knows? Miracles are always possible. Um, as you can see here, we've been watching a large earthquake pattern. We're still kind of waiting for when the next one is. And Dutch Sins had a video last night about how the volcanoes in Oregon are deforming. You may want to watch it. Spam? Fram? I don't get it. Maybe frozen ice? I, I, don't, I don't get it, Sean. Anyway, yeah. You're going to have some pretty impactful ice, man. And Texans are not good at driving on ice, bro. And then up through here, look at this. I think this is like Missouri and Kentucky. An inch of ice. That is a lot of ice, man. Oh, now I get the joke. <laughs> Still not that funny, though, but to each their own. Matt Lanza, pretty impressive. Hey, ref, Fram, mean ice numbers in North Texas, not far from northern suburbs of DSW Metro. Granted, this probably overestimates things some, but man, hopefully lower end verifies up there. Ice, 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 ice be trouble. Shout out to the first responders and firefighters who always kick ass in rain, sleet, snow. Firefighter Jeff Sylvia of Fire Fall River Fire Engine 4 at the scene of Saturday Night's Fire, wherever that was. It says the storm's going to be over 1,000 miles. Some have estimated 2,000 miles. And it's going to affect over 100 million people. So, in one way or another, so everybody be prepared. Michelle Rotella, major concerns with the storm system set up to begin this evening and last through the week. We've got everything with this one, heavy rain, snow, and ice. Time to download their app. Um, okay. <laughs> Sleet! All right, sorry. And yeah, one of the big problems is, like what Eric Fisher's talking about, what an absolute mess this is going to be. Melting rain and ice to ice, to snow, to hard freeze. Friday looks awful. Because, like, 
the cold is going to dip down after a lot of the rain and snow hits. So some of the wetness will be frozen. I love it when the weather community talks to people like they are in Asteroid Fight Club. It's like, hey man, for every single social media post showing you just one single deterministic model run, they always leave out 81 ensemble members that may not agree with that. Um, yeah, you know, no one run is ever absolutely deterministic. And Mother Nature is always going to surprise us. So, I don't know. You guys are pretty smart, though, you know? So stay cool, play defense, have fun, and just do it white weather but i like weather for all people man all right what, is it? what oh yeah storm chaser nick that's what i'm talking about just shovel it hey i'm trying a 24 hour fast let's see if it works alex lamers consider the probabilities of 18 inches or more of snow in the context of the record three-day snowfall for central illinois to northern indiana um Snow spread is over a couple of days, but yeah, it's potentially tons of snow in these areas. Here is like your chances for getting over 18 inches. And then you got your turd, your banana turd of probability for over a half an inch in ice. A lot of places with 10 to 20%. Hey, AR2940 has generated a C-class 8.6 flare. That's exciting. Cloud aliens stopping by to say hello. Strange Sound says the, a video reveals a very bleak outcome if U.S. and Russia had a nuclear war. Wow, thank you for that information. You've been very helpful. Say no to World War III, bitches. Yesterday, Californians were surprised to see earthquake trending, but in Oklahoma. All right, happy Chinese New Year of the Tiger, y'all. Oh, actually, we had two C-class flares yesterday. And we got five sunspots on the sun right now with a solar flux of 129. The sun is waking up. All right, I got an idea. Since you are an adult, let us both watch a deterministic model run of the GFS-12Z. Um, As you can see, I mean, it's February, so we should, it's winter. And like, we're in the middle of winter right now. So we should be expecting winter weather. Here's our big storm that we've been watching. Bing, bam, boom, coming through. Look at all that moisture shooting through. And then you get a little nor'easter on the 8th or 7th bang that should scrape by. We'll have to watch that one. And then another little storm. And then it says here kind of slows down the weather pattern for like three days. And then it'll start to pick up again. But the model runs have been very wonky on what happens after like day seven. So we'll have to continue to watch. But there is another chance. Texas will get more freezy and more snowy. Oh, hey, I got an idea. Let's watch temperatures together, shall we? You and I. You spoil me. Let me spoil you. All right, this is the very latest GFS run. But if you'll notice, this has a like a mega freeze down um, at the middle of the month, right around Valentine's Day. So it would be like deja vu fractally all over again. I know a super hot, talented lady who really loves fractals. I'm like, eh. Anyway. Um... And did you guys have a happy new moon? But you can see that, like, you know, the, the rain will be the green parts, and then the snow and ice and sleep will be the darker, the purplier parts and the bluier parts. But, you know, some places are going to freeze after the rain falls. So, you know, just stay up on your local. Look at that. But the, right around the 16th, bam, we get another big freeze down. And it stays cold. So that is exciting. Although, will it be dangerous? Will the power grids hold? Who knows? Life is a cliffhanger. And I'm so glad you guys are with me. Thank you, Asteroid Fight Club. You guys are awesome and incredible and fantastic and super. And I love and appreciate y'all so much. Hey, let's take a... Yeah, so that would be... Okay, so then it would, like, freeze down into Texas on the 15th. And then it would freeze down into Mexico. And so this would this here implies that like you would get be getting this is like two weeks away nobody knows this would imply that it would be like freezy down into oh, I didn't mean to hit that freezy down into Mexico for like we would get like three or four days of freeze and that would even get into negative degree temperatures into Texas again will our power grid hold I don't know I don't know man but I know that well I won't say that anyway God bless everyone stay cool I'll probably be talking y'all in your future I think I put five or six videos out yesterday because I try to spoil y'all y'all spoil me. Stay cool. You guys are 
freaking awesome. And Happy New Year. Peace out. God bless everyone. And remember, we have another new year um, on the spring equinox. It's the astrological one. And Mercury goes direct on the 4th. So then we'll have 72 days of all planets direct. So let's let's get a lot of good shit done, okay? Stay cool. Play defense. Have fun. God bless everyone.